Back in 2016, Kelly Mohan started this embroidery business in her backyard. But just six months later, a cancer diagnosis changed her life forever. But after a clinical trial, she's now cancer free and ready to move on with her life. It's a he. It's a he. Name? His name, um, <laughs> uh, Richard. You can probably read between the lines on that one, but it turns out that Richard the Embroidery Machine has a fairly significant role in the story you're about to hear. I put a needle through my finger with my machine and had to go to the doctor and I had to get a stitch in there. A couple of weeks later, I had, I thought, an infection in my chest, but it ended up being breast cancer. Thank you, Richard. She'd lived her whole life right here in Hondo, Texas, appreciating small town existence and the tight knit bond that comes with it. <laughs> but this diagnosis changed everything. Not just because my life stopped that day or took a detour, everybody else's life in the family took a detour too. At 47 years old, Kelly Mohan was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer an aggressive form of the disease that has a high relapse rate. Why? Because unlike other cancers, TNBC offers no real markers where treatment can be targeted. They immediately told me to stay off of Google, and I did. I didn't really want to know about it. I kind of just trusted my doctors. I trusted what they were telling me. Luckily, they were telling her to meet with Dr. Sharon Wilkes. If I had a daughter or my mother, I would drag you over there. This is you need to go see her. I'm like, well, God, you put it that way. I guess I need to go see her. Wilkes, based out of San Antonio at Texas Oncology, was leading the San Antonio portion of a nationwide trial of an immunotherapy regimen for triple negative patients. And Kelly was a perfect candidate. Kelly stands out like many individuals because she also carries a genetic mutation. So those individuals, we already have to think about not only the cancer that they presented with, but other future cancers as well. The immunotherapy treatment has now been approved by the FDA as part of a combination treatment for certain triple negative patients. Now we very much try to make sure that these are gonna be effective treatments, but absolutely it's saying with what we have, we're not beating cancer well enough. So let's see if we can do it in a different way. And this one worked. And this one worked. This one worked very well. Overall, Kelly's role was small, but personally, you got a smile, you got a smile. This trial was everything. If you hadn't had this clinical trial, what do you think? I think, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> you think it saved your life? I think it saved my life for sure. Yes. And she's not going to let it go to waste. Grandkids are coming and kids are getting married and yeah, it's a pretty exciting time. And you're gonna be here for all of it? Yes, definitely.